Welcome back to Grow Leafy. It's me, Alethea. So, I don't like bugs. I don't like them. Um, I'm actually very frightened of many of them. But I realize that they can't harm me because I am much bigger than them. But I got to show you this problem that I'm having in my garden. And it's just disgusting to look at. And it's my Brussels sprouts. Okay, this thing's covered up and I'm gonna take the cover off. There are these white things all over it. I don't know, it could be aphids, could be eggs. We're gonna take a closer look at it. It's very disgusting to look at. Well, as to me, it's disgusting, but I need to figure out what the problem is because it is doing things to my plant and reshaping the leaves and uh, the leaf or the plant, the Brussels sprouts are, I think, are losing its vigor and some of the leaves are turning yellow and there's just, mm, I got to just show you what it looks like, okay? So if you know what it is, please, please, please comment in the box and let me know because I am on my journey of learning how to garden and becoming a really great gardener, but I need to learn from other gardeners who might know how to solve this problem. So please help me out. Before we even start investigating this process of figuring out what this problem is, what are these little, little spots? They're black and they're hard, like a, like a shell. Let's see if I can pick one off. Come on. Yeah, here's one. You see that? It looks like it has a web on it. Like, what is that? Can you see that? They're all over the mesh. They have been on my other plants, like my Swiss chard. I've seen them. I don't know what it is. They don't move. But there's something going on here because they're everywhere. And they're down there. They're up here. I see flies flying around inside this mesh. I have to take this mesh off because there's a lot of things that are going on in it. So I'm gonna take it off because I think that's where the problem is. Once I take it off, do some cleanup, hopefully we can fix the problem. We have a very big problem. An infestation of a problem. That looks like dust. I wonder if it's from these. This. Oh Lord, what is this? Are those aphid eggs? I see flies flying everywhere. Do you see that? So far, that's just three leaves. Here's another one. Here's that in there. All in there. Can you see that? We have a very big problem. This plant is infested all over here. You have to check underneath leaves. As you can see, those yellowing leaves. So I need to clip those. I need to take these, some of these weeds out. It's all under there. There's a few specks under there. See under the very bottom leaves. Okay, I don't see them under the bottom leaves. I'm trying to see. Not too bad over there. But it is just everywhere. Now, I'm primarily seeing it. It's over here. We can see in between these, the peas. Peas are good. I don't see anything in there. Let me look under this. I don't see anything under there. Good. That's good news. Hopefully it's just one plant. Okay. So primarily it's this plant that is infested. 
And I'm sure that there's probably more that I'm just not catching. So let's talk about a plan. Oh, let me show you one other thing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is disgusting. Ooh, that's why sometimes I love to garden indoors, but I love gardening outdoors too. Okay, so let's talk about this. So it started raining, so I gotta move to a dry location so that we can talk. So, if you know what the problem is, please let me know. Please comment in the box. I would really appreciate it because that is a really bad infestation of little eggs, whatever it is, and I need to do something about it now. So, what my plan is and what I am going to do is... Let's pause right there. So what I actually had to do was take a hand wipe and wipe down each leaf individually to get the cabbage aphids off. They were holding on tightly, even with me using the most powerful sprayer on the hose. It just did not work that way. It wasn't as successful. So then after that, I then sprayed down the neem oil and then use the diatomaceous earth and sprinkle that on there. All right, let's take it back and end this video. But just one important thing I wanna leave you with, very, very important, that as you are gardening, to make sure that you are checking up on your plants daily, every day, and then that you are doing something about the problems early on. Because if you don't, then you will end up with a greater problem such as I, that I am dealing with right now. So even if I can't give you really great advice as to what to do and how to address this issue and to fix it, and I, because I don't have a solution for you, but my recommendation to you is to check early and daily and deal with the problem earlier so that you can not risk losing your plant, your hard work that you've put into this grow season. So if you like this video and it was helpful from helpful for you, sorry, and that you were able to learn something, please, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel if you have not done so, so you can get other videos that come out weekly. And also like this video and share it with someone else. And also make sure you do hit the notification bell because if you don't do that, you're not gonna get the notifications. But until then, make sure to grow leafy and I will see you next time.